Well, it's time for our daily Chalk Talk now. And if you're not familiar with Chalk Talk, these are messages to the world that people have written on their sidewalks with chalk. And you can find all of these and a bunch more of the drawings on WJTV.com. And we're uh, closing with a few messages of hope and inspiration this week from our viewers. Uh, we'll start out with one called Fun Fantasy. This is the first one that was drawn by Siana and Ari. They live in the reservoir area over in Brandon. Holly Rivera sent in the photo and says, At our house, we love to make fun creatures like mer kitties and mer monkeys and, of course, mermaid princesses, too. Bunch of. Oh, I, those are cute, yeah. It reminds me, I tried to baptize a cat one time. They're unredeemable. Don't try it. I'll just say that about it. And next, we have uh, one called Love. It was submitted by Chastity Newman. It was drawn by 10 year old Taylor Ellis and 2 year old Hadley Newman. Taylor attends the Amit School Center. The family lives in Smithdale. And the next, something we all need to do right now, hang in there. This was uh, drawn by Amber Curry of Vicksburg. Reminds me, I asked an old man one time uh, if, he thought he, if he thought he was going to make it. He looked at me kind of funny. He said, well, son, I got to make it. <laughs> and I guess we do. We just need to all hang in there. We have to make it. So thank you for that. And then finally, peace out, COVID-19. Becky, Daut Becky Daughtry submitted her granddaughter, Lexi Simmons, drawing. On one side is the popular Bible verse, Philippians 413, I can do all things through Christ. And then on the other side, a bit of encouragement there. Even uh, though it's a slow process to find a vaccine, just keep calm, stay strong, and peace out, COVID-19. Well, keep sending us your sidewalk artwork. The email address to send those is to chalktalk at wjtv.com. And then be sure to include your name, where you live, and a title for your artwork. And we're featuring on the air every day. Ken